On date of the incident, the world watched as an Air India flight, en route from New Delhi to San Francisco, made an abrupt detour. The reason? A chilling bomb threat that sent shockwaves through the aviation community and beyond. This wasn't just another day in the skies. It was a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities of air travel in an increasingly uncertain world. The flight, carrying hundreds of passengers, was forced to divert to Iqaluit, a remote town in Canada's Arctic region, far from its intended destination. As the plane made its descent, fear and uncertainty gripped those on board and their loved ones on the ground. The incident immediately sparked a flurry of activity from international authorities, all racing against time to address the potential crisis. This emergency landing in Iqaluit is a chilling testament to the very real threats faced by airlines today. It underscores the critical need for robust security measures and international cooperation to combat terrorism and ensure the safety of passengers worldwide. The world held its breath, waiting for answers as investigators worked tirelessly to unravel the truth behind the threat. The ordeal began like any other long-haul flight. Air India flight flight number departed from New Delhi at departure time. Hours into the flight, a terrifying message was received. The pilots were alerted to a potential bomb threat. They decided to divert to the nearest suitable airport. The aircraft made a safe landing in Iqaluit. As news of the bomb threat spread like wildfire, authorities around the world scrambled to respond. Air India, the airline at the center of the storm, issued a statement shortly after the emergency landing. An Air India spokesperson, speaking from the airline's headquarters in New Delhi, confirmed the bomb threat and the subsequent diversion to Iqaluit. The safety and security of our passengers and crew are of paramount importance to Air India, the spokesperson stated. We are cooperating fully with the authorities and conducting a thorough investigation into this matter. Canadian authorities were quick to respond to the unfolding situation. RCMP CPL George Henry, speaking to reporters at the scene, confirmed the safe landing of the aircraft and the immediate launch of an investigation. Our officers are on the ground, working closely with airport authorities and Air India to ensure the safety and security of all passengers and crew, stated CPL Henry. We are treating this as a credible threat until proven otherwise, he added, underscoring the seriousness with which the incident was being handled. The emergency landing of Air India flight, flight number, was a textbook example of aviation security protocols in action. A bomb threat triggered a series of procedures to ensure safety. Pilots followed protocols, notifying air traffic control and requesting priority landing. On the ground, emergency services and law enforcement were on high alert. Passengers were quickly disembarked and taken to a secure location. The calm response ensured everyone's safety and well-being. Section 5. The Global Threat Airlines on High Alert The bomb threat against Air India flight, flight number, is a stark reminder of the ever-present threat of terrorism faced by airlines worldwide. It comes at a time when aviation security is already on high alert, with airlines and governments around the world constantly reviewing and enhancing security measures to stay one step ahead of potential threats. The global aviation industry operates in a complex and constantly evolving threat landscape. Terrorist organizations and individuals with malicious intent are constantly seeking new and innovative ways to exploit vulnerabilities in aviation security. This includes everything from sophisticated bomb plots to cyber attacks targeting critical infrastructure. Airlines and governments are engaged in a constant battle to stay ahead of these threats. This includes investing heavily in advanced security technologies, such as explosive detection systems and passenger screening technologies, as well as implementing rigorous security protocols at airports and onboard aircraft. Section 6. Security in the Skies – Measures to Combat Terrorism The international community has made significant strides in enhancing aviation security. A multi-layered approach is employed to prevent acts of terrorism and ensure safety. Passenger screening at checkpoints is one of the most visible aspects. Passengers pass through metal detectors and have their baggage screened. Cargo screening detects explosives and other prohibited items. Cybersecurity is crucial to prevent cyber attacks on operations. International cooperation is essential to combating terrorism. Section 7. Passenger Perspective fear and uncertainty at 36,000 feet. For the passengers on board Air India flight, flight number, 
the bomb threat transformed what was supposed to be a routine journey into a terrifying ordeal. The incident serves as a stark reminder of the vulnerability felt by passengers who place their trust in airlines to transport them safely to their destinations. Imagine being thousands of miles from home, cruising at high altitude, when the captain's voice crackles over the intercom, conveying the unsettling news of a potential bomb threat. Fear, uncertainty, and a sense of helplessness would undoubtedly wash over even the most seasoned traveler. The long hours spent on the tarmac in Iqaluit, while authorities investigated the threat, must have felt like an eternity for the anxious passengers. The lack of information and the uncertainty surrounding the situation likely amplified their fears and anxieties. This incident highlights the psychological toll that security threats can take on passengers. Even if a threat is ultimately deemed not credible, the experience can leave a lasting impact, shaking passengers' confidence in air travel and creating anxieties about future flights. Section 8. The Aftermath Investigations and Repercussions In the immediate aftermath, the focus shifted to ensuring the well-being of passengers and crew and conducting a thorough investigation. Passengers were provided with accommodation and support in Iqaluit while awaiting alternative travel arrangements. Air India faced the challenge of transporting passengers to San Francisco. Investigators from multiple agencies launched a comprehensive investigation into the bomb threat. Section 9. The Human Cost, Psychological Impact and Trauma Beyond the immediate disruption and logistical challenges, the bomb threat against Air India flight, flight number, underscores the often overlooked human cost of such incidents. Passengers and crew members involved in such events can experience lasting psychological trauma, even if no physical harm occurred. The fear, anxiety, and helplessness experienced during a security threat can manifest in a variety of ways. Some individuals may develop post-traumatic stress disorder, characterized by flashbacks, nightmares, and heightened anxiety. Others may experience sleep disturbances, emotional distress, or a fear of flying. Children, in particular, are vulnerable to the psychological effects of such traumatic events. They may regress in their development, exhibit clingy behavior, or have difficulty sleeping. It's crucial for parents and caregivers to provide children with age-appropriate reassurance and support in the aftermath of such incidents. Airlines and aviation authorities have a responsibility to address the psychological well-being of passengers and crew affected by security threats. This includes providing access to counseling services, offering support groups, and ensuring that individuals have the resources they need to cope with the emotional fallout. Section 10. Lessons Learned – Strengthening Aviation Security for the Future While the investigation into the Air India bomb threat is ongoing, the incident serves as a valuable opportunity to review and strengthen existing aviation security measures. By learning from such incidents, the aviation industry can continuously enhance its defenses and stay ahead of evolving threats. One key area of focus is the need for improved intelligence sharing and cooperation among international partners. Terrorist organizations often operate across borders, making it essential for countries to share information and coordinate their efforts to counter these threats effectively. Another area for improvement is the use of technology to enhance aviation security. This includes investing in more sophisticated screening technologies, such as advanced imaging technology and biometric identification systems, to better detect potential threats. Furthermore, airlines and airports must remain vigilant in their efforts to prevent insider threats. This includes conducting thorough background checks on employees, implementing robust access control measures, and fostering a culture of security awareness among staff. Section 11, Flying Forward, Restoring Confidence in Air Travel The bomb threat against Air India flight, flight number, is a stark reminder of the challenges faced by the aviation industry in today's world. It underscores the need for constant vigilance, robust security measures, and international cooperation to counter the evolving threat of terrorism. While such incidents can understandably shake the public's confidence in air travel, it's important to remember that flying remains one of the safest modes of transportation. The aviation industry has a remarkable track record of safety and security, thanks to the tireless efforts of countless individuals who work behind the scenes to protect passengers and crew. As we move forward, it's crucial that we strike a balance between security and convenience. 
passengers should feel confident that everything possible is being done to ensure their safety without being subjected to unnecessary delays or intrusive security procedures. The future of aviation 